Hello everyone, this is Andrew again, and now we're going to discuss PLC Programming Training Part 17. Okay, let's start. Exercise 1. Create a PLC program given the following conditions. You have one push button and two actuators. If PB1 is pressed, the process will start. Process will stop after completing one cycle. If process is running, lamp 1 will turn on and lamp 2 will turn off. If process is idle, lamp 1 will turn off and lamp 2 will turn on. As you can see on our process, cylinder 1 will extend and after it reaches the fully extended position, it will retract. Then, after it reaches the fully retracted position, it will extend again and this sequence is repeated 3 times and after 3 repetitions, Cylinder 2 will extend, then if Cylinder 2 reaches the full extended position, it will retract. Okay, that's our process. Now let's have our demonstration. Okay, that's it. Now, I want you to post this video and try to solve it by yourself. Then after that, you can resume this video so that you can compare your answer to my answer. Okay, let's continue. This will be my answer for this exercise. As you can see, because our process is idle, lamp 2 turns on. And now, let's press PB1. By pressing PB1, X0 is energized, and because X0 is energized, Y0 will turn on. And Y0 will not turn off even if X0 is not energized anymore because there's a latching here. And now, because Y0 is on, and cylinder 1 is at fully retracted position, it will cause Y3 to turn on, and because Y3 is on, Cylinder 1 will extend. Then after cylinder 1 reaches the full extended position, X5 will be energized. And the normally closed contact of X5 here will be open. That will cause Y3 to turn off. And because the normally open contact of X5 here is on, the count value of C0 will increase. And because Y3 will turn off, Cylinder 1 will retract. And as you can see here, because cylinder 1 is at fully retracted position again, X4 will be energized and that will cause Y3 to turn on again. And cylinder 1 will extend again. And this cycle will repeat 3 times. And as you can see, because cylinder 1 reaches the full extended position again, the count value of C0 increases again. And this cycle will repeat 3 times. Okay. Okay, this will be our last cycle. And if you notice here, even if cylinder 1 is at fully retracted position again, Y3 will not turn on anymore because the count value is now complete. And the normally closed contact of C0 is now open. And the normally open contact here is now closed. And as you can see here, because X4 is energized and cylinder 2 is at fully retracted position, X6 will be energized and that will cause Y4 to turn on. And if Y4 turns on, Cylinder 2 will extend. And because cylinder 2 is at full extended position, X7 will be energized. And that will cause the normally closed contact of X7 here to be open. And the normally open contact of X7 here to be closed. And the normally open contact 
will cause M0 to turn on. And as you can see, there's a latching here. And because X7 here is now open, it will cause Y4 to turn off. And that will cause the cylinder to retract. And as you can see here, because X6 is energized and M0 is energized, it will cause C0 to reset and M1 to turn on. And by turning on M1, Y0 here will turn off. Okay, that's it. Now let's have our simulation. Let's press PB1. Okay, let's go to our next exercise. Exercise 2. Create a PLC program given the following conditions. You have one push button and two actuators. If PB1 is pressed, the process will start. Process will stop after completing one cycle. If process is running, lamp 1 will turn on and lamp 2 will turn off. If process is idle, lamp 1 will turn off and lamp 2 will turn on. Okay, let's analyze our process. As you can see here, cylinder 1 will extend. Then after it reaches the full extended position, it will retract and it will do the same sequence twice. Okay, after finishing two cycles, cylinder 2 will extend. And after it reaches the full extended position, it will retract. Then, as you can see here, cylinder 2 needs to perform this sequence twice also. And that will be the end of the cycle. Now, let's have our demonstration. Now, let's press PB1. Okay, that's it. Now, I want you to post this video and try to solve it by yourself. Then after that, you can resume this video so that you can compare your answer to my answer. Okay, let's continue. Okay, this will be my answer for this exercise. Now, let's press PB1. By energizing PB1 here, it will cause Y0 to turn on. And because there is a latching here, Y0 will not turn off even if X0 is not energized anymore. And as you can see here, because Y0 is on, and because the cylinder is at fully retracted position, Y3 will turn on. And because Y3 is on, it will cause cylinder 1 to extend. And because cylinder 1 is at fully extended position, X5 is now energized. And because X5 is energized, the normally open contact of X5 here is on. That will cause the count value of C0 to increase. And the normally close contact of X5 here to be open. And because of that, Y3 will turn off. And it will cause cylinder 1 to retract. And as you can see, the cycle here will repeat twice. Okay, as you can see here, because the count value of C0 is now complete, the normally closed contact of C0 here is now open. And even if cylinder 1 is at fully retracted position, Y3 will not turn on anymore. And because the normally open contact of C0 here is now closed, and cylinder 2 is at fully retracted position, it will cause Y4 to turn on. And as you can see, because Y4 turns on, it will cause cylinder 2 to extend. And now, because cylinder 2 is at full extended position, 
X7 is now energized. And by energizing X7, the count value of C1 increases. And because there's a normally close contact of X7 here, it will cause Y4 to turn off. And because of that, cylinder 2 will retract. As you can see, the cycle will repeat. The count value of C1 is now complete and it will cause the normally open contact of C1 here to be closed. And because of that, both counters will be reset. And the normally closed contact of C1 here will be open and it will cause Y0 to turn off. Okay, that's it. Now, let's have our simulation. Now, let's press PB1. Okay, that's it. Okay, let's go to our next exercise. Exercise 3. Create a PLC program given the following conditions. You have one push button and two actuators. If PB1 is pressed, the process will start. Process will stop after completing one cycle. If process is running, lamp 1 will turn on and lamp 2 will turn off. If process is idle, lamp 1 will turn off and lamp 2 will turn on. Now, let's discuss the process. As you can see here, Cylinder 1 will extend first, then after it reaches the full extended position, we need to wait for 1 second. After 1 second, Cylinder 2 will extend, then after it reaches the full extended position, it will retract. And as you can see here, after Cylinder 1 reaches the full extended position, we need to wait for 2 seconds before it retracts. And for cylinder 2, it will repeat the same sequence again. Then after 2 cycles, cylinder 1 will extend again. Then after that reaches the full extended position, it will retract. Okay, let's have our demonstration. Let's press PB1. Okay, that's it. Now, I want you to post this video and try to solve it by yourself. Then after that, you can resume this video so that you can compare your answer to my answer. Okay, this will be my answer for this exercise. And as you can see here, LAN2 is on because our process is idle. Now, let's press PB1. By pressing PB1, Y0 will turn on. And because there's a latching here, Y0 will not turn off even if X0 is not energized anymore. Because Y0 is on and the cylinder is at fully retracted position, it will make M0 to turn on here. And because M0 is on, it will cause the normally open contact of M0 here to turn on. And this one as well. And because of that, Y3 will turn on. And because Y3 is on, Cylinder 1 will extend. And as you can see here, because Cylinder 1 reaches the full extended position, X5 is now energized. And that will cause the normally open contact of X5 here to turn on. And the normally open contact here as well. And because the normally open contact of X5 here is on, T0 will be activated after 1 second because T0 is activated all the contact of T0 will change and because there is a latching here even if X5 is not energized anymore T0 will not turn off and the normally open contact of T0 here is now closed it will cause Y4 to turn on and because Y4 is on Cylinder 2 will extend and as you can see here, 
T1 will be activated after 1 second. And now, because cylinder 2 reaches the full extended position, X7 will be energized. And that will cause the normally closed contact of X7 here to be open. And the normally open contact of X7 here to be closed. And the count value of C0 will increase. Because T1 is activated, all the contact of T1 will change. The normally closed contact of T1 here will be open. And that will cause Y3 to turn off. Now, both of the cylinder is now at fully retracted position. And as you can see here, Y4 will turn on again. And now, because cylinder 2 is at fully extended position again, X7 is now energized again. And the count value of C0 here increases again. And because X7 is energized, Y4 will turn off, and that will cause cylinder 2 to retract. And because the count is complete, the normally open contact of C0 here is now closed, and here as well. And because cylinder 2 is at fully retracted position, X6 is energized, and because of that, Y3 will turn on again. And because Y3 is on, that will cause cylinder 1 to extend. And as you can see here, because cylinder 1 is at fully extended position, X5 is now energized. And all the contact of X5 will change. The normally open contact of X5 here is now closed. And that will cause C0 to reset and M1 to turn on. And because M1 is on, all the contact of M1 here will change. And this one will cause Y0 to turn off. Okay, that's it. Now, let's have our simulation. Now, let's press PB1. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching this video and please wait for the next episode of our tutorial. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click the notification bell to notify you for new video. Please like and share my YouTube videos and like my Facebook page. Please click see first on our Facebook page to notify you for new posts. If you like this video, please comment nice. Please comment negative and colon and put your negative comments about this video. Please type suggestion semicolon and put the suggestion about this video. And if you think that this video needs some improvement, just type improvement semicolon and put the things that you want to improve about this video. I will use all of your comment, negative comment, suggestion, and improvement so that I can improve all my future videos. Thank you for all the feedbacks and thank you again. See you next time.